Hi there, it's Tal from PS Kiss, and this is Cross Camera Color, the full frame series. You start with a raw file, go to the camera calibration tab in Lightroom or in Photoshop via Adobe Camera Raw, and you select the profile you want to work with. The selection of the profile is critical because you establish the lookup table, you establish the basic colors you're going to work with all of your processing in the future. Now this is the, all of our profiles in one list. We'll select one from the full frame series. Let's say Sony A7R Mark II Portrait. This is the result. This is Adobe Standard. This is a member of the full frame series. You can see the differences in the rendering of the skin tone color and the whole atmosphere is richer. Go back to the library. Let's pick another one. Let's pick this flower photograph. This is Adobe Standard. And let's say you want to use Canon 1DX Mark II landscape. There you go. This is Adobe Standard. This is Canon 1DX Mark II. Now please note, I didn't do anything else but switch the profile. The color table is totally different and it gives you much more flexibility in your processing. Back to the library, let's pick this image taken by Yulia Kuzmenko. This is quite a vintage photograph, but it was taken with Canon 5D and there is no vintage profile in it. So you can select the Nikon D5 flat, which gives it that retro look that seems correct to me. This is Adobe Standard. This is the camera prof portrait, which is not emphasizing the pink as the photographer wanted. So we switch to Canon 1DX Mark II portrait. And there you go. Deep blues, deep pinks, deep colors everywhere. Now there are some technical advantages of using profiles, not only creative advantages, Let's take this photograph for example. You can see that the shadows are quite thick and if you want to open them quickly, simply go and use the same Nikon D5 flat and there you go. It opens the shadows without noise, without changing the exposure, without changing the atmosphere of the photograph. It simply help you to enlarge the dynamic range of this photograph. Now let's check this studio photograph. Again, not warm enough. The photographer wants it warmer. So go down, you check Sony A7R Mark II portrait. And there you go. Thick, rich, and warm skin tone as you want. Last example, this wedding photograph. This is Adobe Standard, the default of Lightroom and Photoshop when developing a RAW file. And if you go down and select Sony A7R Mark II Deep, you get all these colors that were in your photograph, but you just couldn't render them out of it. So this is Cross Camera Color, the full frame series. Hope you find this information useful. Check out our camera profiles category at pskiss.com. You'll find there four very interesting camera profiles packages. Find your package and be creative. Thanks and bye-bye.